Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today we're working on a Bargello quilt. So if you want to see how to make a panel like this, please stay tuned. If you're not familiar with Bargello, basically what it is, it's a method of strip piecing where you make a long um, set of a long strip set and then you make a tube out of that and slice it up okay so that's what I'm going to be showing how to do today um, I'm actually doing this little this is going to be a baby quilt and I'm doing it in preparation for my son's graduation quilt so I'm just going to put this on camera for just a second but this is what I want to create for him for graduation and I had ordered a Moda scrap bag. I did the uh, rail fence baby quilt out of this before and what it was is I ordered it online and so you really don't know what you're going to get and what I ended up getting was 39 strips of fabric. They were three inches wide but only about 32 inches long. So I was like what am I going to do with that and then I got this idea for this baby quilt. Um, this, the line, I don't know what it is because it, it doesn't tell you, it just says motor scrap bag and it says it's approximately a half pound of fabric. So I guess it could be like even uh, five inch squares or whatever, but my, the both of the ones that I happened to get were strips. So what I did was I counted them out and since there were 39 strips, I decided that I would try this um, technique and I would do three groups of 13. So each one of these, my strip sets has 13 in it. I've actually only stitched one Bargello um, style. And then the, re the other two, I still have them in their strip sets. So that's where I'm gonna start today. Push this out of the way. I've divided this up into two strip sets. Most of the time when I see um, the pattern, I see it from darkest to lightest. But I kind of wanted mine to radiate from the inside out. So if you look, the darkest uh, fabric is in the middle and then it goes out light either side from there. So this is the first strip set. And these are all botanical. So they're kind of, I wouldn't even say they're flowers. They're just kind of random plants. And I see some berries and some, a lot of leaves and things. This is the, uh, the second strip set. Again, the darkest ones are in the center and it radiates out. And one thing that I did differently, usually I see them um, all pressed to one side and I was concerned that that would be an issue when I'm um, trying to put the, uh, sew the strips back together. So what I did was I did one um, up and then one down. So the seams are, they're going in opposite directions. Some of them are pointing away from the center fabric, some of them are pointing toward the center fabric. And I think that worked well for the first set so I'm going to continue it with this set. So I've already stitched these all into um, into the strip sets. My first step after that um, is to make the two. So I'm going to sew for each of these I'm going to sew the bottom to the top and I'm going to do a quarter inch seam here. It doesn't matter uh, for me, it doesn't matter which one is the top fabric. I did pin to kind of show the first two fabrics because I'm gonna need that a little bit later. Uh, but overall, it doesn't matter as long as you know which is your first fabric. So this is just kind of my reminder. I'm gonna take these out in a little bit. So let me go to the machine and make the tubes and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I have my tubes ready. And before I start cutting, I did make a chart of, I'll turn it this way, it's in pencil so you may not be able to see it well. I made a chart of how wide I'm gonna be cutting from the tube and which seams I'm going to have to cut between to get our cascading look. So for this step, I'm using my long, um, my cutting mat, I'm using my long ruler here, uh, my rotary cutter. I have a weight to kind of help me hold down the long mat, the long ruler, and then um, my rotary cutter. And I'm also going to use um, a seam ripper to tear the, um, to move the thread between the seams. So I'm going to start with my first 
two here. And I use a, um, a pencil and I check off each one as I cut it. And this one is not, it's not perfect, but it'll be okay for what I'm gonna do with it. I'm just gonna start on one side and straighten it up as much as I can. straighten it as much as I can. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference as long as the cuts are as straight as I can get them. Okay, and I'm going to take one um, edge of the ruler and line it up, or one line on the ruler and line it up with one of the seams to get, the, to get it straight. And then I'll use the weight to hold this other end down. Well, I would if it wouldn't roll away. There we go. And I'm just going to cut the selvage edge off first. And then I'm going to flip the ruler around so that I have the right, um, so that I have it turned the right way since I am a lefty. So here we go. Got it turned around. And according to my chart, my first seam is going to be, or my first cut is going to be two and a half inches. So I'm going to line up the ruler to two and a half inches. Again, keeping one of these, um, a line on the ruler lined up with one of the um with one of the lines of stitching then i'm going to make my first cut here two and a half inches in all right and then when i take it out i'm going to do my first uh, ripping is going to be between seam 13 and 1 and so this is my first fabric and I can check the pins. So my first one is going to be here. Just take my seam ripper and take it apart. And I'm just using the seam ripper every two or three um, stitches. And then pull that off. And I'm going to lay them out. I'm going to lay all of my strips out in order and then um, I'll show you what they all look like. I'll go ahead and do the second one which is two inches and I think I'll just make both of the two inch cuts and again I know that this isn't perfect but I think it'll be okay. So here's my two inch again choosing one of the lines to keep the one of the lines of stitching to line up the um, ruler on, use the weight, and cut number two, and I'll go ahead and make another two inch cut to get both of those done at the same time, uh oh, it fell, here, And so for the two inch cuts, the first one is going to be, the first seam that I'm going to rip is between seams one and two, and the second one is between seams two and three. So I'll do that, and I'll finish all of these, and I'll lay them out, and I'll show you what they look like laid out before I stitch them. I have both of the, um, the Bargello blocks, They're, they've all been cut into strips. And I've lined them up in the correct order. Um, each one of them is a little bit different. They, um, I try to focus on this dark strip, and each time it comes down a little bit lower. And the next block, it comes down a little bit lower. Now the trick is to sew them together. And so all I'm going to do is fold the first piece over the second piece, and the seams are going to nest here, and then um, and then stitch it straight down. I'll show you here in the middle. I'll sew, I'll sew the first piece, over, or second piece, I'll just fold it over. And these seams are going to nest right here. You see this one's turned up, this one's turned down. So they should nest, and in between each of the seams, I'm going to give it a finger press before I, um, before I give it a final press. So I'm going to sew these together. 
I'm almost done with my first block here and I have um, I have the entire thing stitched except for this little part I'm about to add it but I wanted to show you quickly how I finger press this so for each seam after every seam I've gone through and I finger pressed it and even if, if I do just a, a little two piece like I did this one and I've already finger pressed but I'm gonna finger press this seam because I just joined this part to the big part so all I'm gonna do is all of these um, seams are going to one side and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pulling it a little bit and I actually start by going up to secure the top of that seam and I'm only gonna finger press up to where th there's a join so I'm only finger pressing to the next seam I really can't do much for the seam and I'm just kind of smoothing it out and if I need to I may lift this seam so that I can push the seam allowance the direction I want it to go and I just do that as I go all the way down for each seam and what I'm hoping is that it's going to give it a nice um, I guess like an easy way when I get ready to press it with the iron that it'll already be kind of flat so that I don't have to do too much work with the iron I'm just kind of securing it instead of actually having to press each seam okay so for each one of these as I said I, I typically join two and then I join those two to the big part so like for this part I've already joined these two and I have finger pressed them and when I put the seam, this next one on I'll just finger press that one seam and this entire block is going to be done so I'll do that and I'll finish the other one and I'll be back these are all three of the panels put together. I have not sewn them yet, but I think this is the layout I want to go with. I hope that you can see. I tried to put with the, um, the brown, I kind of want it to run through at about the same place. And I've placed them so that all the other colors are kind of the same way. So this one, it kind of starts with the cream and then goes down to the turquoise and then red and brown and then to the green and so I hope you see that in all the other patterns I'm gonna put them together and then we'll see what it looks like as one I have the quilt all together now you can see that everything is joined into one piece and I'm really liking the way that it has come together I love the way the colors kind of flow from one to another in in this whole piece I was thinking that this might be baby quilt size but it turns out it's a little bit longer I haven't measured it but um, I think if I would have put two together then it would have been the perfect size for a baby quilt so this one I get to put some borders on it and see what size it ends up if you have any questions about Bargello hopefully I can answer them um, leave them below please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel I look forward to seeing you next time bye